we know our country has people from all over speaking lots of different languages. The issue comes in where those kids come into the school setting and the staff who's monolingual wants to try and help these kids. The problem with assessing that student in English is that they're going to appear as if they have a language disorder or delay when really it's possible that it could be a lack of English proficiency. So that's where we come into whether something is a language disorder or a language difference. A lack of English proficiency kind of parallels some of the characteristics of a language disorder, whether it be not using the right vocabulary, having trouble with grammar. So our job is to assess in the native language as well as English and it's kind of a gray area and it's not easy to tease out the differences, which is why my company is so specialized and my employees are trained specifically in that area to determine is this a difference or a disorder. For me, the most uh, satisfying kids to work with are the preschool age kids because sometimes they're just so frustrated that they can't think of the word, they can't put two words together. If they can't express their basic wants and needs, they're gonna act out behaviorally, they're going to be frustrated. So for me, when the light bulb goes off with those kids and they realize the power that language has for them, and they get so happy when they say their first word or they say, want milk, they put two words together. For me, that's the best feeling. You can see that they're so proud of themselves and that they instantly have this new power, this new sense of confidence. They just grow from there.